I hope I find you guys today healthy, happy, and ready to learn with me today, okay? So grateful to have you guys again today. Okay, guys. Let's let me start with sharing this conversation that we are going to do today. So today we are doing uh, chapter 11 still, continuing what we left off yes, uh, last week, okay? Still, this week we are learning how to narrate a story, bagaimana menceritakan kembali suatu, uh, suatu kejadian, oke? Okay? Nah, dalam uh, bab ini kita akan membahas tentang bagaimana menceritakan kembali terjadinya suatu kecelakaan lalu lintas. Alright, so let's start with the uh, conversation. Let's have the role play. Okay. I'm going to need some volunteers to do the role play for tonight. Before we continue with the exercise. Okay. All right. Oh, cool. Okay. I would like to have, uh, here we have Vera. Vera, Vera, uh, I'm gonna give you an opportunity to do dialogue number one, number three, and number five as Jack, okay? So, Vera, you are doing dialogue number one, number three, and number five as Jack, okay? Next, I'll have um, Mr. Amin doing dialogue number two, and number four, as Sam. Okay, Mr. Amin doing number two and four as Sam. And then I'll have a uh, dialect number six highlighted in yellow for Brandon. And then I'll have a uh, dialect number seven highlighted in blue is going to be done by Miss Lily, all right. Now I need two more, two more people doing for eight and nine. Dialect number eight and nine. That'd be awesome if we see new names. Okay, anybody? All right, so. While we're waiting for others, maybe we just go ahead and start, okay? And then maybe right in the middle, be more people raise hand, okay? So I'm going to unmute you guys. Vera? Okay. Yes, Miss. Okay, Vera, you are doing dialect number one, three, and five, okay? Okay. All right. Okay, hold on. Let me unmute the others first before you start, okay? I have Mr. Amin. I have Brandon. Good evening, Miss. Good evening. You doing good today? I'm good. Oh, excellent. It's great to hear that. And I have Miss Lily. Okay. Good evening, Miss. Good evening, Miss Lily. How are you today? Fine, thank you, Miss. How are you? Ah, I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. Okay. So, so far we we have four people ready. Okay. So let's go ahead and start. Okay. Maybe in a, right in the middle, then we're gonna have more people. Okay, to continue with uh, dialect number eight and nine. All right. Uh, Fera, you can start whenever you're ready. Okay, Miss. Hey, buddy, what happened to you? Don't tell me you broke your leg. No, it's not that. That is, it's just twist my ankle. Still, it hurts 
a lot and walking with the with this crustus. Crustus is a pain in the nest. So when did it happen? It was the night of the best basketball championship, and the worst thing is that we lost the game. And I hope, I all hope, winning our deal back. What a bummer! Sit down here for a minute and tell me all about it. Well, it all happened last last Thursday. It was pouring down rain and also freezing. I was in hurry to get to the gym early to chill out a bit before the game. I was all stressed out about the game when I left home. I got in the car and started to drive toward the gym. All of a sudden, my phone rang. It was my girlfriend. She was all excited about the game and wanted to wish me good luck. I started to get pumped up and ready for the game. My girl, my girlfriend and I keep on talking when I suddenly realized that the cars in front of me were stopped and I was going a little fast. I slammed on the brakes, but it was too late. The street was wet and I hit the car that was stopped in front of me. Okay, number eight, I'll, I'll have Jennifer. That heartbreaking caused me to twist my ankle. I could hardly get out of the car to, to talk to the other driver because my ankle hurt so much. To tell you the truth, I was so freaked out. I didn't know what to do. I was thinking about the game, my girlfriend, my teammates. It never occurred to me that I, I wouldn't be able to play that night. Go ahead, finish it, Jennifer. Finally, a cop came and made me sign some papers. Then an ambulance took me to the hospital. They took some x-rays to see if my ankle was broken or not. Thank goodness it wasn't broken. But the upshot was I wasn't going to play basketball that night. And now, I'm stuck with these crutches. Perfect. All right. Thank you. Welcome. Okay. Let's do a little review, okay? Okay. Excellent. For uh, Vera, you're doing excellent on the pronunciation and also uh, on the intonation. Really good for you, okay? Thanks, thanks. Okay. Now, now I have a couple things here. Okay, uh, uh, here, right here. I just twist it. Okay. Uh, okay. I believe it's Brandon. Huh? Okay, Brandon. That's twist it. Okay. That's the past tense or of twist with the ed. I just twisted my ankle. Okay. All right. So you gotta pay attention to the ed Ooh. of the verb. All right. The past tense. All right, and then other than that, you are doing excellent, okay? A lot of improvement on you guys, okay? I'm proud of you guys, okay? Now, for, uh, okay, let me see, crutches. Oh, okay, here. Mm, uh, oh, okay, I believe there was the twist, it was uh, Mr. Amin, I believe. Yeah, yes. Okay, there you go. Okay, Mr. Amin, I'm sorry about that, Brandon. Okay, now Mr. Amin, uh, it just twist. I just twist it, okay? And then here, another one is uh, crutches, okay? Crutches. Yes, crutches. Uh, itu yang tongkat ya, yang pakai di ketiak ya? Crutches, crutches. Uh, crutches, yes. Two, uh, it's a plural, so two of them, so we say crutches is the uh, plurals of scratch, scratch. All right, and then have another. You have another one here. Uh, uh, I was in an. I, it was the night of the basketball championship. Okay, basketball. Yes. Okay, and then. Oh, okay. That's it. Just that's it. Okay. Other than that, uh, really good. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Thank you. Amin. Okay. Now I have for.
Brandon. Brandon just here a little bit uh, pouring that. that. Okay. Um, okay. I was in a hurry. Okay. I was in a hurry. Okay. So hurry and a hurry is totally different. Okay. Now, when you use in, it's going to be in a hurry. Okay. Instead of hurry. Okay. Hurry up. Okay. That's totally different with a, a hurry up. Okay. I was in a hurry. Well, in a hurry here, it's a, a noun. Okay. When you say hurry up. Okay. That's a verb there. Okay. The uh, function of the words are totally different. Okay. So pay attention. Okay. A lot of mistakes, but really critical. Okay. And then started. Okay. But I got in the car and started. Okay. Remember, started to drive. Okay. And past tense. Okay. And then, okay. That's it. That's it for Brandon. Okay. Other than that, excellent. Okay. Now, uh, dialect number seven for Miss Lily. I have cap. Okay, cap. Here, my girlfriend and I kept on talking. Okay, cap here is the past tense of keep. Okay. It means. All right, and then kept on talking. Uh, okay, and then. Um, where is it? Uh, and I, when I suddenly realized that the car's in front of me, in front of, okay? When you use the word in front of, okay? In front of is a one, consider as one word, okay? You cannot use just in front me, in front me, no. Okay, front of me, no. So those are, that's like, uh, cannot, cannot uh, separate it, okay? Uh, she sits in front of me. Okay, so it the means. cars in front of me, like that. Okay, it so means. pay attention to that off, okay? Other it than it that, means. you are doing excellent, okay? Thank you, miss. You are very welcome. Okay, and Jennifer, excellent, okay? Really good, I like your intonation. It's, uh, it's like really you are doing like uh, as if somebody is right in front of you. Perfect. Okay. I want everybody to be like that. Okay. But we're going to practice little by little to get there. Get together. Okay. That's what we are here for. Right. Okay. So that's for the conversation, the role play for today. Okay. Let's continue with our exercise. Okay. So last week we are we, we were left with the conversation until I mean sorry the exercise let me check right here okay exercise eleven point five let's go back there. Okay, point five. There you go. Okay, there it is. All right. So last week we already did this. Let me make it smaller so we can see the whole exercise of eleven point five right here. Okay, we have the option until T. So I'm going to have to make it. Oh, this is pretty small, huh? Okay, let me check. Okay. All right, there you go. Eleven point five. That's the best view I can. Do look at me. Okay, let me see if it's gonna show S T. Okay, there you go. Oh no, sorry, it's Mr. A. Okay, so I have to do that way previous. All right, here you go, guys. 
So we're gonna match the words on the first column to the second column, okay? The ends, the 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 similar word might be more than one, okay? All right, so we did until number three already. Raining cats and dogs, okay? It is raining cats and dogs all over Indonesia today, I hope, okay? And then now number four, we have be freaked out, okay? Be freaked out means if it's be here, means you used to be, okay? To be, M is R, to be. Okay, that's for the present tense, and then to be for a uh, past tense is a uh, was and were. Okay, so when you use those uh, uh, subject, then you're gonna use be here to be. I am pump up. I'm stuck with. Okay, it's raining cats and dogs. She's freaked out. He was stressed out. Okay, that's what it be is here. All right, let's do number four. All right, I see Friska here. Okay. There you go. Good evening, miss. Hey, good evening. Long time no see, Friska. Yeah, sorry, miss. I'm in uh, PC. Don't be sorry, okay? <laughs> you can review on the YouTube, right? Yes, miss. Okay. Ah, uh, actually, can you... Uh, Talk closer to your speaker, please. Okay. Yes, miss. Can you hear ah, me? A lot better. Okay. Number um, four, miss. Yes, please. Uh, the answer is B, miss. B. Be angry. Okay. Freak out, huh? Okay. Give me one second. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, sorry, guys. Uh, okay, what happened here? Okay, give me one moment, okay? Hold on, please. Okay, there you go. So, your answer is B. Yes, miss. Okay, anything else? A, be all excited. Okay, freak out. Freak out is like something negative. Okay, it's more like the negative emotion like that. Okay, be all excited is positive emotion. Okay, oh. let me pull this page here so we can we all can sit together okay give me one second freak out okay check this out okay look to freak out or be freak out means to extremely scared angry or oh okay excited okay but okay hmm. i don't think that's exact excited in a in a positive way okay excited to see someone but it's freak out has this negative emotion like that okay, okay. like this okay excited uh, i don't hmm. Okay, so you're, I'm gonna check on that freak out bit about excited, okay? Because I don't think that is the, I never know, I never know actually, that freak out is meaning that uh, something excited here, okay? I'm gonna check on that, we're gonna hold, uh, put a hold on this, okay, on the excited for the, your A, okay, please? Okay, me. Okay, so, but, okay. Let's go back to that. Okay, so we have scared, angry, or excited. Okay, also can freak you out. Okay. Yes. And also the answer is G means G. Oh, okay. J, J. Oh, okay, give me one second. Let me pull this. Okay. Wow, there's something new. Okay, I never know. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, excited. So you, you're going to say that's A, huh? Okay, B, A here. B. And J. J, be, be scared, scared, huh? Okay. And then anything else? I, I think that's all, miss. Okay. Freak out is also like something like... um. A surprise but in a in a negative in a negative way okay she's she was all freaked out when she saw the brother driving the car because the brother is maybe is still small young you know okay as we saw here okay let's go back here yes surprise but in a negative negative uh emotion like that okay look at this okay she's freak out uh, he freak out when he saw his brother driving his new car okay so that is like a surprise really surprise but in a in a bad way okay i mean in a negative way jadi ada muatan freak out itu ada perasaan yang terkejut tapi dia terkejutnya bukan terkejut bahagia terkejut marah ke begitu ya ada muatan emosi negatif begitu oke 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 let's go back uh, to that oke okay. 11.5 Oke, okay, so you have A, B, J. Yes, Miss. Eh, remember earlier, uh, a freak out also scare, right? Be scared. So, be scared. So, let's uh, hold on. Give me some L, huh? You have, uh, there's another one here, I see it. Freak out. L be surprised. Oh, okay. Oh no. Uh, go, go. Hold on. Hold on. Like frightening. Okay. Give me one second. Okay. Just check this again. Scare here, extremely scared. Okay, so we have that scared, angry, excited, and then also uh, surprised. So we have that J already scared, and, and then scare another one is be frightened. Okay, frightened. That's the same meaning with scare. Okay. Oh, okay. E means. Okay. Oh, hold on. This is so you have another one is uh, E. Okay. So uh, I'm gonna put a note. I'm gonna check on the freak out as uh, what do you call uh, excited. Okay. I'm gonna. That's my homework for to explain to you guys next week. Okay. A good one okay thank you please thank you miss all right so let's have number five be stressed out be stressed out be stressed out i'm going to have miss lily try number eight i'm sorry <laughs> number five <laughs> hi Be stressed out. Yes. Uh, be nervous. Yes, nervous. Yes. Be, nervous. That's what is it? Be nervous. What's the alphabet? Nervous. H. H. All right. H. Okay. Intense. Intense. Yes. M. Oh, M. Okay. M. Be were. Be worry. Worry, yes, be stressed out because worry. And. Yeah. and okay, sorry. All right, anything else? Maybe that's all, miss. All right, perfect. Okay. 
Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome, Miss. Now let's have number six. Chill out. Okay. Let's have Brandon try number six. Yes, Miss. Okay, oh, calm down. Yes, calm down. Okay, what's the alphabet? Come, come. Oh, oh huh. All right. Yeah, sorry. Oh. And relax. S. Yes. yes, relax. Yes. Anything else? No more, Miss. How about this? Uh, relax and stop worrying, huh? Stop worrying. No. Yes, okay. <laughs> it was covered on the bottom, so maybe you mm. didn't. Yes, okay. Chill out, okay. Stop worry. I mean, somebody said that, okay. Okay, thank you, Brandon. Thank you, Miss. Okay, next we have number seven. Realize, realize. Okay, I'll have Miss Linda try number seven. Realize. Q. 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 No. No, okay, yes. Anything? Mm -hmm. Looks like no. Looks like not. All right, no more. Okay. I have another one, but uh, let's check this out together, okay? Um, what do you call? Chill out. That's... Oh, it's yeah, okay, yeah, Be sorry that something isn't true. Be worried that something isn't true. No, be sorry. Realize. Realize itu dia dalam bahasa Indonesia itu uh, menyadari ya. Menyadari. So, previously, they, uh, she doesn't know anything. And then at the end, after some process, maybe after somebody telling her, after she some observe her, she observe uh, observation, then she realized. Okay, that's what realize is. Okay, knowing but knowing not on the on the front, but knowing after a while. Okay, okay. Let's go back and then check this together. We are realized. Okay. One, two, five. Okay. okay. Yes. To realize means to be aware of or to already mm -hmm. know. I'm sorry I yelled at you. I realized that I was wrong. Okay. So realize set setelah ada proses ya. Jadi dia bukan know at the first time, right? On yeah. the first place, no knowing anything. After after some process, then he they realize. Jadi kalau bahasa Indonesia itu sepertinya menyadari ya, begitu. Yeah. Kurang kurang lebih lah. Oke. Okay. Oke. Okay. Let's go back one to eight. Oke. Okay, so what is it? Another one. So you See. be aware of. Yes. Okay, so it's C. Anything else? No. No, okay. Yes, I also agree with you. Okay. Another okay. word to remember, okay? Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Next, number eight. Be creeped out. Be creeped out. Okay. Creeped out. Okay, anybody? Okay, I'm going to have Miss Lily try number eight. Number eight. Out. Be disgusted. Mm -hmm, that's right. Last it and then right. brief right then frightening frightened frightened 
Ah, uh, what uh, alphabet is? E. E, yes. B grows out F. And then? F. F, yes, F. Okay. Anything? No, miss. All right. Okay. Usually creep out or something goes like that. Okay. Uh, jadi, mana uh, negatif ya kalau creep out itu ya. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Now, number nine. Wish. Okay. We use this word a lot. Okay. I wish you blah, blah, blah. Okay. Let's have Friska try number nine. Okay, Miss. Uh, K, Miss. K. And uh, uh, we... Yes. Okay. Be sorry that something isn't true. Okay. Uh, jadi, um, wish itu dalam bahasa Indonesia seperti uh, mengharapkan ya. Right? Okay. Anything else, Friska? Uh, I think that's all, Miss. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Okay, now number 10. Cup out. Cup out. Okay. Well, I have three people answering all this exercise, okay? I'm expecting more, okay? Now I'm going to have to Linda. Number 10. Number 10. Chop a cup out, yeah, miss. Yes, cup out. Chop with the H, okay? C H O P. Chop. Out. Cup out. out. It's a cup, cup, cup out, like that, okay? Okay, what cup is... out. Oh. You know what it means? Don't know. Okay, let's check together, okay? Give me one sec. Cup out. All right. Cup itself, the word cup itself means police officer. Okay. Uh, here we have to cup out on someone. Okay. Means to stop participating in an activity in which other people are coming on you. All right. Jadi uh, mundur begitu okay. kalau seolah-olah dalam bahasa Indonesia-nya begitu ya, mundur. Jadi dia sudah berjanji, uh, berjanji tapi dia mundur. Ya, begitu. Mundur dari apa yang sudah dia janjikan begitu. Oke, okay? got it? Oke, okay, let's go back. One, two, eight. So, what is our answer? Are you there, Linda? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, okay. Sorry, my, my connection up and down. Oh, okay. Okay, that's why all of a sudden no sound. Okay. Yeah. So, so you dalam bahasa Indonesia no. itu dia mundur dari apa yang sudah dijanjikannya, sudah ini. Yeah. Oh, not not participate as promised. R Q R. Yes. R. Okay, cool. Okay, so we got the answer there. Anything else? Uh, looks like no. All right. Also agree with you. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Okay, so don't cop out on me. Okay, we can use that word now. Okay, so now uh, exercise 11.5 is done. Okay, here we go. We have an exercise 11.6. Okay, what we need to do here for 11.6 is now we are given the response already okay jadi sudah ada sudah tersedia 
uh, responnya ya respon dari uh, suatu dialog nah kemudian kita di, di, disuruh untuk memberikan suatu pernyataan atau pertanyaan untuk yang yang bakalan responnya seperti yang sudah diberikan oke okay? so what we need to do just make a state make a question or a statement that will trigger this response all right that really creeps me out okay what do you think is the question or statement that makes somebody is gonna say that to you after you say whatever there okay that really creeps me out okay okay wants to try okay let's do this together okay okay i guess i have two two people raise hands here i'm going to have them try this okay well let's have uh, miss lily try number one Okay. That really creeps. That really creeps me out. The okay creeps 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 me out. I mean like something um disgusted, right? Okay. Or the the, the red. Mm -hmm. The red carcass has rotted. Yes. Okay. The the red car carcass. Uh, what is carcass? Ba bangkai ya. Oh, the dead the dead red. The, the, the dead red. red. Yeah. Okay. The dead just saying the the dead red. Sudah busuk. Oh, the dead rats are rotten. Uh, yeah. Just like say, the the dead rats are the dead smell that are smell smell. Uh, the dead rats smells really bad. It creeped me out. Yeah. Okay, like that. Yes. Okay, Miss. Because uh. uh sudah busuk itu berarti kan mengeluarkan bau ya. Oh, yeah. Kan? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, Miss. So, okay, let's say. Uh, what do you call um the dead rat smell? Mm, smells really bad at his bedroom okay let's make it dramatic okay so that really creeps me out okay 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 let's uh no let's make it like this okay mm, there are okay there okay let me make this big now okay so because there you go okay a lot better right Okay, there are a lot of smelly dead rats in his bedroom, okay? Like that, okay? So make it more creepy, okay? Okay, miss. Thank you, miss. Okay, thank you for your idea. <laughs> Now, number two, you need to, you need to chill out. You need to chill out. Okay. Anybody else would like to take this challenge? Okay, I'll have Friska. Yes, Miss. Oh, there you go. 
You need to chill out. You are you are very busy all this week. Mm -hmm. Let's go to the beach. Oh, uh, okay. Riska, look at this, okay? The words here is, okay, you're gonna say something to me and then I'm gonna tell you, okay, you need to chill out. Okay, so you are going to say I. Two people are having a conversation, okay? So you and me, okay, let's say, okay? You and me okay. are having this conversation. So you're gonna say something that I'm gonna reply to you. I'm gonna say like this. You need to chill out, Friska, like that. So what you gonna say to me? You're gonna start with the I, right? Okay, I'm very busy all this week. I've been busy this week because it was starting the, the beginning of the week and then right now you're still busy. Are you? Yes. Okay, I've been busy this week and then? I'm, I'm very busy I've been, all, all this week. Okay, I've been very busy. Oh, uh, I'm very busy. Saya sangat sibuk sepanjang minggu ini. Okay, this week. Okay, just say like that. Okay, this week is gonna be uh, Monday to whatever Friday. Okay, work day. Okay, and then I've been very busy this week. Okay, you you gonna say that? I can say okay. You need to chill out. Okay, and I've been very busy this week and tired. Also, you can say that and tired and exhausted okay make it more like that <laughs> and exhausted okay. yes you need to chill out okay yes okay perfect okay okay, okay thank you friska now number three they cup out on me okay cup out remember earlier the uh it means Uh, mereka mundur Jadi mereka sebelumnya sudah ada perencanaan Untuk satu sesuatu Kemudian mereka mundur Tidak tidak melaksanakan sesuai dengan rencananya Alright, that's what cup out mean Oke, okay, anybody wanna try? Brandon, Jennifer, Windy Oke, okay. eh, maybe Mr. Amin, ha? Huh? Mereka mundur, oke. Okay. Jadi ada perencanaan dengan dengan, oke. Okay. I'm gonna say, oke. Okay. Somebody, oke. Okay. Somebody, let's say somebody is gonna say something to me about they, oke. Okay. And then I'm gonna say, oh, they cut out on me. Mereka mundur. Mereka membatalkan rencananya dengan saya, demikianlah, kira-kira uh, begitulah. Kalau diterjemahkan ya, mereka membatalkan rencana dengan saya, they cut out on me. Oke. Okay. Oke, okay, I have two here on me, oke, okay, so I'm going to... Have Miss Lily again, okay? Hopefully, because uh, but you guys still understand, okay? What we're talking about here, not just uh, me, uh, Miss Lily, and Friska only, okay? Hi, Miss. Okay. I'm planning to go on vacation with my office friends. They cap. Cup out on me. Oh, okay. Hold on. Now, you're saying that to me, okay? What did you just say? Okay, I'm the one gonna say, they cup out on me. Okay? I'm the one that you don't, it's not like one person gonna say these two conversation, okay? Like, uh, number one earlier, okay? You are saying to me, there are a lot of smelly death rats in his house. And then I heard I heard it from you and I'm gonna reply to you. Wow, that really creeps me out. Okay. Jadi paham ya? Jadi uh, ini conversation. Jadi ada si A dan si B. Nah, kemudian 
saya akan mem, saya saya yang bilang they cut out on me so you gonna have to say something that trigger me to answer that to respond to you they cut out on me oke okay? jadi seperti yang contoh yang pertama pernyataannya oh banyak um, apa uh, banyak tikus mati yang bau di, di kamarnya and then I heard you say that then I'm gonna give you a respond to you that really creeps me out Okay, so it's not one person. This is a conversation. Okay, you got it? Okay, miss. Oh, okay, so like this. Number three. Let's go back to number three. So number three, they come on on me. Okay, jadi mereka membatalkan, seperti membatalkan rencana dengan saya ya. Ah, demikian. Jadi, they come on on me. So, the statement from you could be like you're asking about them okay maybe in a situation where you already planning uh, okay i'm gonna go with them like who is them there and then all of a sudden you're there but they're not there okay that's the situation so i'm gonna ask you something oh blah 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 and then and then you and then at the end of, and they cut out on me Okay. Maybe you're asking, uh, uh, they, they, who, who are they? Okay. Uh, where are the, the helpers? Okay. Where are the helpers who's gonna help you move in? Okay. And then I'm gonna say, you asking me, where are the helpers who's gonna help you move in? I said, they come out on me. Okay. Mereka membatalkan rencananya dengan saya. Mereka mundur dari rencana awal. Oke, okay. you can say that. Oke, okay. you think anything Why? else? Why? Uh, Why did you? Um, Why? Why are you? Why? Uh, Why? Why are you uh, cleaning up? Maybe a move, uh, doing something. Uh, why are you, you doing the garden by yourself? Where are you? What are you trying to say? <laughs> What's in Bahasa? Why are you? Going to to the cinema uh, on yourself. Yes. Why are you going to the movie by yourself? Okay. okay. Where are your besties? Or oh, they come out on me? Yes, you can say that. Okay. Please. Jadi di ma uh, uh, Mengapa kamu pergi ke teater sendiri? Di mana teman-temanmu? Oh, mereka mundur, mereka membatalkan rencana. Oke, okay, we can say that. Oke, okay? it's a good idea. Oke, okay? let's start again. Um, why? why? Why are you going to cinema by yourself? Where are they? Usually, when going to the uh, movie, is it? Uh, okay. To the movie. Yeah, why are you going to the movie uh, like that? Why are you going to the movie by? By yourself. Yourself. Where are your besties? Okay, so here is besties, teman baik ya, teman dekat. Okay, so it's uh, more than uh, plural. So, okay, that's so I can, and then. Why are you, miss? Oh, yes, there you go. Yes. Thank you for correcting that. Why are you going to the movie by yourself? Where are your besties? Okay. Okay. So you ask me that. Okay, go ahead. You can read this so we can have like a real conversation. Why are you going to the movie by yourself? Where are your besties? They come out on me. 
Okay. See, that's how we're doing this. Actually, this is how the so we're uh, learning how to make a statement like that. It's just like a conversational like that. Okay, so it's not like you're doing the whole uh, sentences on yourself. Okay, In just case. like number one, you want to try number one. Go ahead, read number one. There are a lot of smelly dead rats in his bed. That really creeps me out. Okay, so somebody hear you say that, and then they're gonna give you a response. Okay, so in the next uh, another exercise, you're gonna have to give a response to the statement. So right now we're learning how to make a statement to the uh, provided response. All right. Perfect. Okay, miss. Okay. Thank you, Miss. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. So, number four. I realized that. Okay. Saya, akhir, uh, saya menyadarinya. Okay. Saya tahu. Okay. Like that. All right. Let's see. I have new name here. Perfect. Love it. Love it. Love it. Okay. I'm going to have Nisa try number four. Okay, Miss. Uh, your shoes seem uh, doesn't fit you well. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Your shoes too small. Just say that. You don't have to. Oh, okay. Hey, I see your shoes look uh, too small now. Like that. I realize that. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Yes. Uh, hold on. Let me write it first. Um, your shoes seem your shoes your shoes seem too small your shoes seem seem too small okay look small okay hold on your shoes looks too small. I realized that. Okay, saya, ah, yeah, saya sa menyadarinya. Okay, okay. Thank you, Nisa. Ah, you, Nisa, do you, would you like to uh, read it? Oh, okay. Uh, Nisa, uh, read it already. Okay. Okay. okay, Lisa, miss. let's re read it. Okay. Your shoes looks, uh, I think, look without S, yeah, miss. Because shoes is um, plural. Uh, it's plural because um, like this. Okay, now, shoes. Your shoes. Okay, shoes. Okay, depends. Now, shoes uh, you have to appear mm -hmm. left and right. Now, in this case, we have the shoes. The shoes because we mm -hmm. It depends on the context, usually like this, okay? Uh, okay if you buy shoes in the store, you cannot buy just one, right? So it's uh, like, yes. this, like this, the pants, jadi, uh, uh. trousers. You cannot say trousers. It has to be trousers okay. because pants, pants, celana panjang, yeah? shorts. Mm -hmm. It has to be two legs, right? Left and right. So you cannot say, I buy short. Okay, I have... I have to say, I buy shorts. Now, that shorts, I buy only one, right? But it has to be the shorts, right? You have to use one word, shorts. The same thing like shoes. Now, these shoes here is a pair of shoes, okay? So this is like a pair of shoes, okay? Not the shoes more than like, um, okay, different. A pair of shoes. There's one shoe, one pair. Okay. So the one he's wearing is one one pair, right? There's only one. One pair of shoes. Okay. Yes. When you say two pairs of shoes, then that is gonna be two two rows. Okay. There is some some. Um, Depends on the context. This, 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 this thing. But right here, definitely you can only wear one pair of shoes. Okay. Okay. So uh, that's the same thing. Like I say, trousers and then uh, what do you call uh, shorts? You can say uh, your shorts 
look like that, okay? Because it's one, 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 actually one, but the S, like that. Okay? You gotta understand where the uh, context of the sentence. Okay, miss. I got it. Okay, your shoes looks too small. Yeah, I, I realized realize that. that. Oh, okay, so you said that I said the other one. It's okay, extension, remember? Two people. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. Yes. Okay, miss. Your shoes looks too small. I realized that. Okay. okay. So Thank you, Miss. Don't get confused, okay? This is not a, a statement, a, a one sentence. These are two sentences, dialogue. Dialogue. We're learning how to make dialogue, okay? Okay. 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 Keep on doing, okay? Now, number five. No wonder you're stressed out. Okay. No wonder you're stressed out. Okay. Let's see. Oh, okay. Cool. I have Brandon here. Okay. Let's try, Brandon. Uh, I'm very, I'm very scared because yesterday I watched a horror movie. <clears throat> Horror movie, we don't use stressed out usually, okay? Okay, oh. I know uh, stressed out here in this, uh, give me one second, okay? Let me see the page. Okay, let's check this out. Stress out, stress, stress. Stress seperti dalam bahasa Indonesia kalau stress. Nah, kalau nonton horror mungkin kan, horror movie kan tidak mungkin stress ya. Okay, let's go back here. One, two, four. Creep me out. Okay, we can use that. Uh, scare me out. Okay, check this out. Freak out. Okay, means to be extremely scared. Okay, but in the real life, okay. Um, hold on. Uh, okay. Stress out, right? Okay. What? Stress out right here. Nah, okay. Means to be very tense, nervous, or worried about something. Okay. Jadi stress itu seperti dalam bahasa Indonesia, Brandon. Jadi seperti ya, kalau orang-orang kalau ngomong stress dalam bahasa Indonesia gitu. Nah, kalau nonton nonton film horor kan enggak mungkin nonton kan enggak mungkin stress lah ya nonton film horor okay. uh, gini guys uh, i got an assignment with a close deadline dengan deadline yang dekat uh, what is it can you repeat again you got an assignment you got an assignment with a close deadline oh oke okay, oke okay. oke okay, you're trying to answer that okay sorry i was like Okay, give me one second. Let's go back there. Okay. Okay. Okay, repeat again, please. I got an assignment with a close deadline. A cross. Oh, okay. My assignment is almost due. Okay. Jadi uh, assignmentnya tuh ini udah mau udah mau ini ya udah mau harus kumpul ya nah, oke okay. my assignment is about to oke okay. my assignment is almost due just like that see oke okay. oke okay. my assignment is due in an hour oh no wonder you're stressed out oke okay. just like that oke okay. easy oke okay. uh, hold on uh, let me write it um, my assignment is due in an hour okay hmm. perfect that's very good okay actually Brandon would you like to read that my assignment is due in an hour no wonder you're stressed out okay that's how we use stressed out okay okay so remember stressed out is the same like when people in uh, when we use in Indonesian okay when there's something like a horror movie like that that's creep me out okay 
and mm. like that you can use the 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 idioms of creep me out okay thank okay. you perfect okay good job Brandon. thank you okay guys thank you very much it's a very interesting night huh okay thank you for joining this class okay remember all that we already learned today and then try to use in a daily life that way uh, you can maybe on the assignment at school like that you can use these words that way uh, you will remember okay guys okay thank you guys thank you miss thank you miss see you next week see you next week bye i'll see you next week